I was at work and I started to have all the classic symptoms of a heart attack. I called my sister who's a nurse and she's like, yeah, that sounds, I just kind of needed somebody to tell me this. Meanwhile, I work in an open office and I just said to my coworker, um, can you drive me to the hospital? Uh, this is what I think is going on. So she took me to the local hospital and they discovered that I had a tear in the artery, one of my arteries in my heart. Um, turned out that I ended up having three tears. So that was a Monday and I was transferred to Penn Presbyterian on a Wednesday. Just going from being completely healthy one day to getting this diagnosis, um, not only one tear, but three tears. And I was in a great deal of pain and really thinking I, I could possibly die. Um, that's when I met Dr. Zito. When it came down to it, it the, the decision was, you know, you could live like this or you can just have a massive heart attack at any time or we can fix it. And as much as I was afraid, the whole idea of triple bypass when you're a healthy, fairly young person, it took me a week to wrap my mind around it. So I'm glad I had that time, but it was the right thing to do. And through talking with um, my cardiologist, Dr. Bastar, and then um, Dr. Zito, who did the surgery and explained it all to me, that's the decision me and my family came to is that we were gonna do triple bypass. I really felt that the Penn team took their time and they were really good at relating person to person. I didn't necessarily feel that I was talking to this, you know, renowned cardiac surgeon um, that was extremely busy and I, I, you just imagine the life that they have and, how, and the things that they do. But I could have been talking to my neighbor. He was just really easy to talk to for that ability to just be human and to connect really enables patients. It enabled me to trust everything that they were saying. My son's seven and there was discussion um, to my husband and myself about explaining to him, you know, a surgery and that mommy's gonna be fixed. Um, Cause I was here for a long time and to be away from him for the length of time I was, he knew it was serious. He had come to see me in the hospital and seen me hooked up to IV drips. But to have the confidence to say to him, like, I'm getting fixed. You know, there's something they can do for me and I will be okay now. I really believe that. So when I said and explained that to him, he believed it too. I told him today that I was coming over to talk about being a success story. He was really proud. And so I was just glad to share that with him and that he can know that I am a success story.